Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Of all of our senses, smell is the most powerful and unique because our nose is a straight shot to the part of our brain associated with long-term memories and emotion. How many of us know that? You smell, you know, even if I smell like an old deodorant, it'll take me like immediately back to the time I used to wear that and however old, you know, however old I was when I used to wear it. When we are in nature, we're benefiting not only from the view, but from the relaxing effect of the scent of trees and plants. Fun fact, most of the smells we associate with plants, fragrant roses, freshly cut grass, invigorating eucalyptus, are actually the plant's way of communicating with itself and its environment. Who knew? Well, scientists like Mark did. Plants release VOCs, volatile organic compounds, through their epidermal tissue in order to ward off herbivores, attract a pollinator, or even communicate with other parts of itself or other plants around it. Another fun but sad fact, the smell of fresh cut grass that we all know and love is actually the poor little blades of grass alerting their other blade friends, intruder, we're being attracted, beware. Poor little, poor little grassy guys. Um, now that we've established that plant scents are more than just a fun thing to collect for your aromatherapy collection, let's talk about some fun plant smells and their effects on the human body. Phytoncides are the VOCs emitted by trees. We're definitely, definitely um, enjoying the rewards of them uh, to defend themselves against unwanted visitors like fungi, insects, and bacteria. Dr. King Lee discovered that research subjects who slept with hinoki stem oil, hinoki is a Japanese tree, you can buy the stem oil um, and diffuse it. Uh, so when subjects slept with hinoki stem oil diffused in the air, they slept longer and had decreased levels of stress hormones than the ones that didn't. Other studies show that the presence of phytoncides can lift your mood, lower your blood pressure, suppress your sympathetic nervous activity, and increase your parasympathetic nervous activity. Here's one more fun plant smell that I would love for everybody to get to know. And as we're feeling a few drops, I wonder if we'll be able to enjoy it today. Um, drops of rain. Geosmin. So, you know, after it rains, there's that funky, earthy, invigorating smell outside. That's actually petrichor, which is the effect of geosmin, a compound secreted by bacteria found in soil, which is released into the air after it rains. And humans are very sensitive to the presence of geosmin, likely because they were an indicate, uh, they used, it was an indication of the presence of water and we tend to immediately have that calm. I mean, do you ever go for a post rain walk? Constantly. <laughs> yeah, there's something just so intoxicating about that, that smell of the earth after it rains. One of the first things I do after it rains, I want to open all the windows to get yes. the, that smell and that sense and how calming it is, not only with the moisture and the humidity, but that odor. Yes. And that so petrichor, baby. It, it's it, when you the, when you the, we pulled out smell. The first thing I thought of was petrichor. Yeah. First thing I thought of, but you know, in terms of for me in the mm -hmm. garden, other than the obvious, the smell of the fragrance of flowers, herbs, and foliage, there are good smells and mm -hmm. there are bad smells. Mm -hmm. You know the difference between the smell of good earth versus bad earth. Like if anyone had a container that's gotten overwatered. And it has that kind of slightly yeah. rotten egg smell. Green kind of, yeah. yeah it's got, mm -hmm. You know it's gone over. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's important to a garden. You know that the health of your soil mm -hmm. is based on that smell, whether you realize it or not. Uh, the smell of just working in the garden, you know, that that green, the smell of green. You know, mm -hmm. We often describe it as the green notes and fragrance uh, have to do with the sense of plants. Beyond that, a flower. The smell of bark, the smell of cedar. Uh, the smell of leaves, yep. dry versus fresh. To me, one of the most incredible things is sense memory. Just a tiny bit of fragrance, whether it's cinnamon of grandma's apple pie, or that cologne or perfume that, that person in high school who sat in front of you used to wear, it drove you crazy. Yeah. It's something that immediately can bring you back to a time, a place, an emotion. Uh, and it's something to me that's very, very powerful.